hello guys welcome back to coding cafe my name is Mohammed Ali and in this video you will learn all about the list boxes and the grid view so we will learn and implement this uh, using uh, an example and in this example what we are going to do is here are basically some courses okay available courses from here a user will select any course and if you click on this add then it will be added in the second list box similarly the user can select any other course let's say java core click add and you can see that course is added here and now let's say if you want to remove any course from the selected courses so you can simply select that course first and then click remove and it will be removed from there and it will again uh, added here in this uh, available courses okay here you can see this let's say i'm going to click on this advanced we'll click that okay so it is added if i want to remove and you can see this it is uh, again removed from there and advanced group is again added here in the available courses and uh, if you want to select all the courses then you can simply click add all and it will uh, copy all the courses to this selected courses list box and it will display all the courses here and if you want to remove all then you can simply click on that now let's select uh, some courses from here let's say advanced php formal methods and this web apps development and ios app development okay and then if i click on finalize okay so these are my final courses uh, let's say which i will study which a user will study in the current semester so if a user click on this yes it will first ask you that is are you sure you want to finalize click yes so here you can see that it is added to the uh, grid view with their unique id and the course duration okay so this course is for six months and this one is for three months and all these things okay so yeah let's do that so first of all go to the visual studio and now first of all let's create a new project and it will be visual c sharp windows form app and the name of our this app will be let's give it a name as university app click ok so our new project university app is created successfully and now let's quickly add the list boxes here so here in the toolbox search box you can simply write list and it will uh, display us this this option which is list box drag and drop this list box here and let's copy paste this and place that here also and now we need buttons to perform the operations or you can say the functionality so you can simply drag and drop a button here and if you want to change the text size and color you can do so from here which is this font okay but we will go on with the default for now so let's change the text of this first button to add and let's give it some color or we will increase the text size for it so it will be microsoft sans bold and 12. now let's copy paste this the second button will be for the remove for add all remove all and then the finalize button so let's change the text quickly it is add all and this one is remove all and the last one is the finalize button which will display the all the records on the grid view so this is our finalize button so now we need a grid view okay so how we can add this go to the toolbox and here you can simply type grid and you can see this data grid view drag and drop this here and now let's give it some proper size so yeah everything is okay now and now let's uh, give names to our these buttons so button one name will be add btn and the name of the remove button will be remove btn and the add all button will be add all 
btn and for the remove all we can say remove all button or you can just say btn which means button and this is the finalized button so now double click on this form because we will perform some uh, functionality or you can say we will create a table whenever the form load okay so first of all here I'm going to create a data table so I can say private data table let's give it a name as data courses equals to new data table and here we are going to create a method where we will basically add columns and rows to this table which is duty courses by the name duty courses so here I can simply say private void fill courses table put two curly braces and by using the dt courses dot add now we are going to add the uh, columns so you can say dt columns dot add and the first column name will be course id and the type of this will be int make sure to put a semicolon here dt courses second column will be the course name and by default the data type for it will be string let's copy paste this for the course duration so the third column will be course duration now we have to add some rows to over this table so we can simply say dt courses dot rows dot add so first we need to pass id then name and then the course duration so the id is in teacher data type so one and the course name is you can give any course to it that is let's say advanced OOP and the course duration for this advanced OOP will be let's say four months and then put a semicolon and now let's copy paste this so that we can add further courses you can add many courses you want but for now I will add only five so first let's change the IDs of this so whenever the form load we have to call this method here so that method this table will be created okay here in the form load so all this data we will uh, display here okay in the list box one and as you know that uh, whenever a user select any course from here then we after clicking this add button we should display that specific course in the list box two so for that we need to create another table so let's come here and let's create another data table and it will be by the name dt selected courses and here first let copy paste this okay so we will create another table and that uh, table will contains only the column names okay first let change this to give it a proper name and let's say that will be selected course table and we just create uh, the columns three columns in it okay the by the same name which are here because uh, there is no need to create uh, I mean separate rows here because we will import the uh, data from here whenever you will select any specific row or you can say select any specific course then we will copy that course whenever the user click on this add button and we will uh, display that here so we will basically use the import function so now first of all let's call this method here inside after this fill score stable in the form load so what we want next is so double click on this add button and uh, here first we have to import the row from the list box one and we can uh, import that row after importing we can uh, just pass that or you can say copy it to the selected courses table which is by the name dt selected courses and by using the import row function and from where we are going to import this from the list box one so here we can simply say dt courses dot rows and which row we will uh, import so that will be a specific row which will be from the list box one dot selected row that is on whatever the row selected the user in the list box one we will uh, copy only that row and we will import it and we will paste it or you can say copy it to the list box two and as I told you 
once we do that then we have to remove that course from the available courses so I mean we have to remove it from the available courses so how we can do that we will uh, remove this from the duty courses which is our first table in the list box one which contain all the courses dot row list box one dot selected index and by using the delete function we have to delete that specific row from the list box one and it is a function so make sure to put these two braces but we can't directly perform this function first we have to check either the user, a user has selected any course or not or either there is any course uh, available in the uh, available courses list box one or not so for that i just cut that course from here and first i will here uh, add the if condition which will check list box dot items dot count so if it is greater than zero then it means that it contains some data and now paste the code here which we just wrote earlier which is this one and now we will work on the remove button okay so what it will do basically that is now whenever the user adds some courses to this this box too so whenever a user click on this remove button then it should first he has to select any course from here so whenever he click on this remove button then that course will be uh, removed from the list box 2 and it will be added again in the list box 1 so double click on this remove button and let's copy this okay because it is the reverse of this add button functionality so it will be list box 2 and we will add that row in the first uh, table in the list box 1 so it is by the name dt courses import row and we are importing this from the second table which is dt select courses and we are displaying uh, it i mean we are basically selecting the index from the list box 2 okay so we are now going to delete that from the second second list box once i run the app then you will understand it more clearly so we have to remove it from the dt selected courses let list box 2 dot select dot delete you you know that uh, this second table okay which is by the name dt selected courses okay so these columns belongs to that table so make sure to change this dt courses to dt selected courses now we have to provide the data source to the list box one so then our courses will be uh, displaying here okay so we have to display a specific column there so for that whenever the form loads here in our form underscore load here we can simply say list box one which is basically the name of our list box dot data source equals to so the first table which is by the name that uh, dt courses and we want to uh, display only the specific column so we can simply say display member equals and we want to display the course name in the list box and the same we will do for the list box two so first make sure to change this list box one to list box two and pass the second dt selected courses table now let's send the app so here you can see this we have five courses advanced soup at itc web engineering so let's select web designing click add and here you can see this let's select formal methods and here you can see that it is removed from here and it is added there if i uh, click now on add formal method is removed from here and it is added in the second list box now let's say i'm going to uh, remove this from here so i will simply click on remove and here you can see it is removed from here and added back here to the methods so yeah it is working fine so now we have to work on the add all remove all and finalize and use the grid view basically so for that first of all uh, we have to go to the uh, design and double click on this add all button so for the add all we can simply copy this uh, single add uh, function or you can say this implementation which we wrote here copy this and paste that here now inside this button what we are going to do now is to cut this code okay first we have to add a counter that will count the total number of rows whatever it is it may be 100 1000 50,000 whatever so it will count all the rows i mean the total number of rows so it will uh, return the total number of rows and it will be stored inside this count integer type variable and then here we can use a for loop 
and we will start the count minus one since you know that uh, the arrays and data table start from the zeroth index that is zero one two three so let's say if we have uh, five rows okay then it will start from four and we want to uh, execute the loo loop up to the zeroth index so from here it will start from five minus one four and we will execute it till till zero that is i greater equals to zero sorry this one okay greater or equals to zero so let's say if we start from four and it will execute five times that is four three two one up to zero index so it will execute five times and then we do the decrement and here inside this for loop you can paste the cos co code here okay which is for the single row so now it will work for it will copy all or, or you can say it will import all the rows so the same we will do for the remove so double click on the remove okay and here remove all button click and the code which we write for the single remove button okay copy this from here and paste that here now and here we need to do the same so copy this line of code and paste that here and now we have to add this for loop so let's add this and make sure to close this loop and now cut these two line of code which is for the single removal of the rows so before we run the app make sure to change this to the second table which is duty selected courses okay because we are removing all the courses from the second table here so let's run the app and you will see it so let's click on add all and you can see it it uh, add all the courses now if you click on remove all then it removed uh, all the courses from the list box 2 and it again comes here to the list box 1 so it is working fine so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will display all the selected courses from the list box 2 here on the grid view